This tutorial is on how to reset the Graphics Studio software. There may be a couple of occasions when you need to reset it, one being if you upgrade to a later version of Photoshop and you want to relink the software so they can use Photoshop to edit the images. The second reason is that now and again we have an issue uh, where you seem to be having problems with the software when creating an album, then this is always the first place to start, uh, which is to reboot the software. So what you simply do is find the shortcut or the software in your applications folder or your programs folder, I have it sat here in my toolbar. You hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then double click on the software to launch it. And you keep the shift key held down until you see a screen that looks similar to this. And where I've got my red arrow pointing here, it will say resetting preferences. Now, unfortunately, uh, just due to trying to capture it as it comes up on screen, which is quite quickly, I wasn't able to capture it. So I just thought I'd explain it. So here where it says loaded templates, it will say resetting preferences. So it takes about five minutes to, to reboot the software. Once you've rebooted the software, this is the next screen you get, which is to re-choose the language again. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I've, I've chosen English. And now I'm going to create a new project. And I'm not going to demonstrate the software in this tutorial, it's only to show you how to now link it through to um, to the uh, uh, to Photoshop. So I'm just going to give it a, a name and save it to my desktop. And we're going to do a book, vertical, um, just two pages is fine. And what actually happens now is I'm working on a dual screen, that's why you, you can't see it actually loading up. But I'm going to just pull it across to the screen that you can see here. So it's actually also reset my palettes as well to the, to the center. And if you sometimes struggle or you change um, uh, screen resolution and you, you lose the top of the controls or you, you, you can't get to the to the button here to resize it, then uh, you can just go to one of the options buttons up here to reset position of palettes or position of main window. So there's a, a quick tip there. So I'm just going to import one image, um, just so I can show you how to link it through to Photoshop. So I've got to import image, or import pictures, import picture, and I'm just going to grab one off my desktop. There you the picture of the Chicago Castle. Uh, so there we go. So I'm just going to drag that onto the onto the screen so you can see it. So the button for editing images in Photoshop is this one that looks like a pencil down here. Uh, when you click it, you're going to get a warning saying that you haven't yet selected uh, your preferred software. So I'm going to press OK. Then it's going to bring up my applications or program folder. And in a second, it will populate this so you can see all your software. Um, and we're going to go for Photoshop. And here's the actual program. In, in, in PC terms, it will be the executable file. Press Open, and you can see that it's loaded the image into Photoshop. Uh, the image has to be selected and you can, uh, in, in certain cases, if I right click uh, on this, uh, modify Photoshop and modify photos on the double page spread in Photoshop. So you can do them all in one go if you wanted to. Uh, they won't be as a spread, they will be as individual images. So if I just made a change to this image and something very simple, I don't know, maybe uh, a levels change. I'm just going to make it quite dramatic so you can see it. Press OK. If I press save, which I'm just going to have to do on another screen, so I'll save. So now the image has been saved. So we've finished with Photoshop, so we can move it away. Then what I need to do now is come back to my software. Sometimes it will automatically update, but just to make absolutely sure, again, we right click and we say update picture, and you'll see that it changes the image on the screen. And that's how we do it. So uh, very easy, if you're having problems um, getting Photoshop to, to link through and you want to edit in Photoshop, then as I say, um, that's the way that we, we, we make sure that we're connecting and talking to each other. Thank you.